Oh, what's happening, people? Right, so, past Jack didn't record an intro for what you're about to see, which is kind of a leg training tips video. Yeah, that's what it is, I suppose. I'm gonna go through five exercises that I like to do on leg day and just kind of give you a voiceover on them, give you a few tips on them. And um, there's loads more I can go through, so if you do like this style of video, please let me know in the comments or drop me a DM on Instagram. Just leave the video a like, whatever it is. If the video gets good feedback, I'll definitely make more. But yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it. Um, the audio isn't amazing, I'm really sorry. I just recorded it through the actual mic on the Mac itself. Um, if, again, if it does get good response, I'll just invest in a Rode mic. They're cheap enough anyway, and they're really good quality. I've been meaning to get one for a while anyway, so if you do like the videos, show me some support, and uh, we'll get that quality up. Oh, um, quickly, ebook is out, link is in the bio, check it out. Alright guys, so while Jack is warming up in the background with some 60 hero squats, I just want to um, say sorry <laughs> for having no uploads. Um, just been busy with the ebook launch and everything. Uh, the next vlog will go into that a little bit more. But today I just want to record this video because I've had a few people ask me about it. And we're pretty much just going to go over some leg training tips. That's what we're going to do. So hopefully we enjoy. So again, while kind of the lightweights are being done in the background, I'll just chat about the fact that before we even started squatting, we put a lot of time and effort into stretching out kind of our hips and rotator cuffs, even the lats, just getting everything moving. And you'll see I'm also in a hoodie, I'm wearing a tracksuit. I'm just trying to get warm, trying to get the blood flowing around my body, trying to feel good, making sure the joints feel good. And yeah, so that's kind of what I do before the squats even begin. Now you'll see me squatting, there's 80 on the bar. On this particular day, I think I'm working up to some sixes or something along those lines. I remember not feeling very good, but um, hopefully, hopefully we get on all right. But yeah, at this stage, <clears throat> I'm just kind of going through the movements, trying to feel good, trying to find my form for that day. Because with squats, a lot goes into it. They are a really complicated movement. Everybody's squat's gonna look a little bit different as well. So for me, I just like to get moving. Oh, there's skinny, all right, skinny. Yep, anyway, I was just kind of going through the movements, finding myself for that day. So you see now there's a 100 on the bar. Just notice how long it actually goes into my setup here. <clears throat> like everything from tightening the belt, to walking up to the bar, to put my hands on the rings. I'm thinking about everything. I'm trying to make every rep look the same. I'm thinking about my foot position, uh, my toes being pointed slightly out. Hinging at the hip just a little bit, keeping my chest not too far forward, not too far up. And just making sure that bar is set nice and firmly on my lower back. So you see how long it takes me just to get ready for this rep. Once I even have the bar on my back, I stand there with it for a few seconds. And here we go. Big breath, down, and try to explode back up. So you see I'm trying to make every single rep look the exact same. So far with these weights, it's not too hard to do. You know, they're nice light weights. I'm going nice and quick. We're good. We're feeling good. So I think that was six, whatever it was. Looking all right so far. So I guess that's like the first major tip for the squat is just take your time with your setup and know what you're about to do. Because the thing is with the squat, I can't really tell you specific tips because everybody's built differently. Everybody's gonna squat very differently. Like there's obviously the key points, like, you know, have the bar set on your back, throw your knees out of your toes, slightly point toes out, especially if you're squatting low bar, hip, hip below parallel, like things like that. But I have no real tips for you here. So here's 120 taken for a spin. I feel like this might've been the top weight for the day. Let's have a look. You see, even at the top of each rep, I'm treating each rep like a single now at this stage because I'm with the real working weight. So I completely reset at the top. Big breath, brace, and down, back up. Exactly. So you see, each one's a single. I'm not just going through them really quickly as much as I'd like to. Boom. And there we go. Re-racking that beach. Okay, so apparently we did go up. Um, looking back at the footage, I probably shouldn't have. I probably let ego get in the way. Um, I haven't actually seen what these squats look like yet, so I'll react. But yeah, just a quick one on squats. If you're doing them to get stronger, do treat every rep as one rep. So treat every rep as a single. Completely reset yourself at the top each time, like I did in that last set. If you are training for size, maybe it's a little bit of a better idea to slow down the eccentric a little bit. Just explode back up, but don't completely lock the knees. Try to keep that little bit of constant tension. I'm really actually interested to see what these squats look like because I don't feel like I should have gone up after watching the footage, but mm. let's have a look together. Okay, so here we go. Don't make a fool out of me, Jack. All right, looks good so far. Down, depth's okay. Up nice and quick. Okay, the first rep looked good. Happy with the first rep. Two, that's okay as well. Still looking okay. Ah, I'm happy with that. That one was a little bit slower. I can tell this next one's going to look tough. Yeah, I slow down the eccentric as well. Yeah, you could tell right now. I do not want to have to do two more reps. Up. Okay, it still looks okay. Still keeping a nice strong back. Keep it up, Jack. Keep it up. Let's go. Let's go, boy. 
Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm not very happy with it, but uh, it, it could have been a lot worse, basically. So, that's pretty much squats. Now, what you're about to see is some leg press. I know, that's controversial. Leg press, what the fuck? Here I can actually give you some tips, okay? So see the way I'm holding onto the handles with my hand? I'm actively pulling myself down into the chair, like really hard. You'll see my tricep, there's my tricep flexing. That's how hard I'm pulling myself down into the chair, okay? Other thing I'm thinking about is, you'll see I'm coming down nice and slowly. There we go, pushing up through the heels and not locking out the knees at the top. I'm trying to keep constant tension on my quads. As well, for me personally, I take a fairly wide stance and po toes point slightly out, similar to my squat. Okay, don't worry too much about foot position. It's not gonna make the biggest difference, especially on a leg press like this one, a 45 degree leg press. What I will say is, take your time setting up, like with any other exercise, like you're gonna see I do here. I set my feet, I make sure they're where they need to be, and just go from there, keep it locked in. I'm doing this for basically quad growth. It's, it's not necessarily gonna transfer perfectly to the squat, but it's definitely gonna induce hypertrophy. You're gonna get the legs working. It is tough. Um, yeah, as a squat builder, it's definitely not my favourite assistance exercise, but it's still good to throw in the mix. Main tips here are put your feet wherever feels most comfortable. Like, honestly, don't worry too much about that closer for more outer quad, outer for more inner quad, shit like that. It's not going to make the biggest difference. Lock it in wherever feels best for you and just drive through the heel the whole time. Really think about the muscles in the quad working and you're going to get a much better feel out of it. Really are. Next up are from some lunges from a very questionable angle. You're not even going to see very much of what I was doing, but yeah. So when I'm lunging, I was doing kind of medium stride lunges. The reason I do them is I'm going to bring in the most quad and the most glute. If you take a little bit of a further lunge, you're going to bring in a little bit more hamstring and glute. And a really close stride is going to focus mainly on the quads. But what I'm doing is trying to focus on quads and glutes. Now, watching this footage back, I can see I'm kind of collapsing on my right foot when I'm lunging, which isn't good. <laughs> it shows weak ankle stability, and I'm probably just not thinking about it enough. So that's something that, it's good that I've seen it, because now I can I can consciously be thinking of it the next day. That's something you definitely don't want to happen. But good points to take from it, I'm keeping a nice straight chest. I'm really pushing my knees out of my toes. I'm taking it nice and slow, so I'm feeling it. I'm stretching on the way down, and I'm pushing back up through my heel. So, there are some good takeaways as well. But yeah, you see my ankles slightly collapse each time. That's no good. Next up, hamstring curls, right? So, notice I'm locking myself in. That's just above my knees. I'm going to lift my toes up here. Nice straight legs. Bring it down. Squeeze. Slow on it up. I'm also keeping a load of air up in my chest. And I'm locking myself in using my hands. So, kind of like the leg press, I'm keeping myself locked into that seat. The main thing, though, is that pad is just above my knees and the other pad is just kind of above my ankles. Now, it can be at your ankles, just above wherever feels best, but the main thing, when I bring it down, I'm holding it for a second. So I'm kind of resetting each rep up nice and slowly then. So each rep is its own. I'm working the hamstrings every time. I get a nice, intense squeeze each time. This is a really important thing to keep in mind when you are doing these hamstring curls, okay? One of my tips is, again, you'll see me lift my toes up towards me here, and then I start. That's an important one, right, because it actually brings a lot of the calf out of the movement. I really recommend you trying this if you haven't done it before. It is a lot tougher, to be honest with you. It is a lot tougher, but you get a much more intense squeeze down at the bottom, so do try that if you haven't before. And again, treat every rep like its own rep. Don't just go flying through them. Notice how I'm taking my time. I'm bringing it down, I'm holding, and then I'm bringing it up nice and slowly. There's a few different parts to each movement. Treat it that way, you know. Don't just fly through them for the sake of saying you got four sets of ten done. Yeah, they're the main ones, the hamstring curls. Really focus on the squeeze. Get a full stretch at the top and take it nice and slowly. Keep those toes pointed up as well, guys. Here's leg extensions. I could probably talk about these for ages, but somehow I only got one clip, so it will be really quick, <laughs> okay? Lock yourself into that seat. You'll see I'm pulling myself down actively with my hands. A couple of reps here aren't the best. I can see my ass starting to slip off off the seat. That's not what we want. Have your knees just over the seat. Have the pad just above the ankles. And again, each rep is its own rep. Squeeze at the top, nice and slow on the way down. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I'm literally playing the same clip again. But yeah, really lock it in. Again, each rep is its own rep. That's really important to stress. Hold it for a second at the top. Really squeeze that quad. And yeah, you can mess around kind of bring your feet a little bit wider, a little bit closer, your toes pointed out, pointed in. You'll feel different heads of the quad a little bit more, but the main thing is just lock it in, get that squeeze, get that stretch. Guys, I'm back again. What the fuck, man? So, past Jack is apparently really, 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 really bad at recording videos, and uh, he didn't give you an intro, and he also didn't give you a closer. So here's present Jack to save the day. 
But anyway, hopefully you took something from it at least. There'll be more to come. I'm really excited. I want to make one on back day because I feel like I can show you guys a lot of different tips on back day as opposed to legs. And so yeah, if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. The next video is going to be more of a normal vlog anyway. So I'll catch you soon, boys. See you soon.